Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the new Red Baron fully loaded hand tossed style crust. This is the ultimate pepperoni pizza with pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef. It was $8.99 at Target. And it does have a little place where you pull the tab. There we go. That keeps from getting a paper cut. And it's in a bag. It looks like there's uh, several different kinds of cheese, although they really didn't highlight that on the front. Um, looks like you have mozzarella and cheddar cheese is how it looks. But you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You remove the pizza from the box and overwrap, and you want to place the pizza on a pan. So they put the word pan on the box. I, I don't know why. I thought maybe they provided a pan, honestly, like the uh, Motor City pizzas. They don't provide the pan. You provide the pan. Uh, but you want to um, you want to place this pizza on the pan, and I used a piece of parchment paper. You absolutely do not have to do that. Um, I just did it because uh, I'm lazy and don't want to have to wash the pan. Uh, but you want to bake this for 25 to 27 minutes. Kevin and I go for the full time. So we'll bake it for the full 27 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is how it looks as soon as it comes out. Kevin was just pointing out the grease. There is a lot of standing grease on it. So are you gonna, gonna move it over to the cutting board? It's really bad thing about these, they don't come with the little cardboard thing you put it on, but that's not a big deal. Fluffy crust. And I'm seeing three different uh, shapes of pepperoni. You have round pieces, you have wedges, and then you have little like um, cubes. Yeah, I noticed the little wedges. Huh? So this, uh, like I said, ultimate pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef, but they didn't really highlight the cheese. It actually does have though Parmesan, uh, cheddar, and mozzarella. And it is manufactured by FC. FC Global Supply Chain in Marshall, Minnesota. Uh, let's see, it says uh, visit our website at www.redbaron.com and of course they're on Facebook as well. Uh, there are six servings, so we got oh, six, six pieces. Um, so one sixth of the pizza is 370 calories. So yeah. this is of course not... I didn't cut it exactly perfect, but it's close enough. No, it says don't forget Keep pizza frozen while preheating. I think a lot of people like to pull it out of the freezer and just lay it out on the the cat, uh, the countertop while it's preheating. But, you know, it takes our oven a good 10 minutes at least to heat up to 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, give it that 10 minutes back in the freezer. Uh, remove pizza from box and wrapper before baking. Do not thaw pizza. They really don't want you to thaw the pizza. I know. Um, for food safety and quality, cook until the internal temperature is 160 degrees Fahrenheit before eating. How many of you have a food thermometer and take the temperature, take the pizza's temperature? Never. I've never in my life taken the temperature of a pizza. Uh, cook thoroughly before eating. Cooking times may vary. Let cool for at least two minutes. We have done that. Uh, refrigerate or discard any unused portion. What else are you going to do with it? That's what I'm thinking. If I don't refrigerate it... I guess sit on the counter. I guess don't sit on the counter. I think it's it's almost like they're worried you're going to get sick. Yeah. If you don't... Well, like I would say like they've, they've had consumed. I oh, That's what I'm thinking. That's what it sounds like. It's ta It sounds like they're really taking preventative measures on this box because... Either they've gotten sued or they want to make sure they don't get sued. Exactly. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know uh, uh, the ins and outs of that. That's just how it comes across. Okay, this one has a piece of pepperoni right on the tip, so I'm going to eat that first. Mm. I think I buy the crust. It's very cheesy. Mmm. I think I buy the crust just so you get an idea of what the crust tastes like. It's got like that Parmesan cheese, like the dry powdery Parmesan cheese. Got, you can see it sprinkled all over the pepperonis and the stuff. I um, I really like the pepperoni. 
I like the chew of it. And I don't know if it was because I got a round piece and then I got- there was it a round one? I think there was, there's definitely a round one, but it was like there was more underneath of it even. Like it was stacked because mm. there was just a lot to chew through and it was nice and meaty. Yep. I lost one. Mm-hmm. I heard it hit the floor. That is a very nice pepperoni. Um, I, it's not a, um, it's not what I would consider a spicy pepperoni, mm -hmm. but it has a nice flavor to it. No, it's got some, it has spice to it, but it's not mm -hmm. like burn your mouth hot. It's just, mm -mm. there is a little, I got something in there that's a little spicy that like gives you just a, a hint of a tingle in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. I like the, um, the crust, I like the sauce too. Would you consider this kind of a sweeter sauce? Um, no. I will, I mean, but I don't ask, just, it's just like regular pizza sauce. It's just like, to, for me, it's like a traditional pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. I just mean, it's not really, some pizza sauce you get are super sweet. I don't think this is super sweet. No, I think not. we've it's, had some that are, I don't feel like this This is just is. a nice savory sauce. It's very hot, by the way. <laughs> Heat hot. Mm. I do like the little cubes mm -hmm. because right. they spread them out. So like when you look at the picture at the end, there's um, little cubes all over the place. And I've said that about other things too. That if you make them smaller, if you crush things up or whatever, then you can spread it out more and get it get a little bit of that. Yeah, you get a little bit of that flavor in every bite. So I'm glad they use different uh, cuts of pepperoni and I'm really glad they use those little pieces. Mm -hmm. It's like having a little piece of um, ham or something like that, except that there is a little, um, there is some spice to it, mm -hmm. but it's not like burn your mouth hot. No, you get a little tingle in the back of your throat when you eat. I think it's the little square ones that give you that. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, yes, because I ate a mouthful, and I'm thinking there is a, it's a pleasant tingle. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's not a super spicy pepperoni, but it is a spicy pepperoni. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. I like the crust. The crust is really good. I was going to show you. It's very thick. You leave it in the full time. Yeah, it didn't really burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was perfect. Uh, the pepperoni, you get the little singe on some of the pepperonis, and it gives you a little crispiness. It's really good. I that, like We that. like that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, but the back crust, the part, the, mm -hmm. the bready part in the back, it's got a really nice texture and flavor too. So even you'll want to eat even that part. Yeah, I think you will too. Uh, that's really good. I like it. I like the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. I don't like you. I agree. That if if you get just the round ones, then you get just a few round ones, and you have to kind of like spread them out and make it last. Mm -hmm. With them adding the round ones, which gives you that round pepperoni texture, but it also has all those little ones that really make sure you get a bite of pepperoni in every single bite. Mm -hmm. You get. A, the taste of pepperoni every bite. The greasiness didn't bother me once I cut it. Oh, you didn't sop it up? Mm -hmm. I didn't touch oh. it. I think, Sometimes I think some of it ran out on the on the oh, parchment paper when, when I cut, cut it. It, it okay. ran off and it's sitting on the parchment because paper over there. <laughs> Kevin has done that before. He's taken like a paper towel and just lightly tapped mm -hmm. it. And I'm like, don't do that. Don't get rid of any of those juices. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. that's good. Um, I like that. This, we uh, we've tried to, uh, they had this pizza and they had a uh, barbecue chicken. chicken. I like this one more. This is more your traditional pizza. Because the chicken one, the barbecue chicken, if you didn't watch that one, hopefully you did. Um, but you really tasted the barbecue. And uh, all barbecue. The chicken was <laughs> completely unnecessary because there just wasn't enough of it on there to make a difference. Right. Truly. This is a fully loaded pepperoni. It really has, they brought the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. They they brought you three different cuts, like I said, and they did a really good job with this. So I think this is a great pepperoni pizza. I do too. It was $9. I think it's worth it. I do too, because you're gonna get full. Um, and, and they didn't mention it being kind of a rising crust, but it is. The it edges is. especially get up. really puffed up on the edges. Uh, yeah. Puffier than they come out of the box. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't mention it being a rising crust, which there's a couple things they didn't sell on there. They the should cheese. have sold it as a rising crust. Mm -hmm. They should have sold the cheese, different kinds of three different kinds of cheese, mm -hmm. and they should have sold that it has three different kinds of pepperoni on there. Mm -hmm. um, they should have highlighted that. Even on the mm -hmm. back of the box, they didn't highlight that, which is surprising. They, 
I sell the stuff you're putting on there. <laughs> Make yeah, people want to buy. It, because know? a lot of companies, pizza companies, they put one one kind. They put just the round pieces, mm -hmm. and you get what you get. And there's that one layer, and you might get like two per slice or whatever. This is like loaded down with pepperoni, right. so yeah. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, I think they did a good job. I would, I would eat this again. Anyway. I would pay nine dollars for it again yep. for sure. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.